Countdown to the Coronation is on. Russell Myers is the Royal Editor for the Daily Mirror and he joins us now from London. Great man. There's plenty to talk about out the front of Buckingham Palace. But I just wanted to ask about a story which is percolating via the Australian media tonight and the European correspondent of the Australian newspaper that suggests that King Charles has been quoted as asking what reception would he get if he would ever come to Australia as King. Now... You obviously won't have an answer about what's going on inside his head, but what is your sense about how he plans to deal with the countries that aren't England, Scotland, uh, Ireland and Wales? Because it seems like he's been a person who's been willing to apologise when he goes to parts of Africa, somebody who's aware that the Commonwealth is of great importance. Is he somebody who do you think is going to want to travel to all of the realms and territories? Well, evening, Paul. Pleasure to join you in a beautiful day in London. But, uh, you know, it's a really interesting point because this comes on the back of uh, some uh, other poll in Canada saying 54% of people are moving towards a republic. Of course, we've had the Caribbean nations making, uh, you know, intense noises saying that they're going to really push towards becoming republics. You've got Jamaica on the back of Barbados. Uh, will this happen in Australia? I think it's a, it's a really interesting point for Charles because he will obviously want to hit the ground running. He's got a very short window of time, we would expect, to cement his legacy. And, uh, and he will want to get out to the Commonwealth. He'll certainly want to get out to the realms. That is what he is about. He's about meeting people. Uh, as you rightly said, he's, uh, he has stood up and be counted, um, said uh, about profound sorrow, uh, about um, Brit Britain's role within the transatlantic slave trade. And I think that these issues will be certainly at the top of his intray over these next few months. Now, uh, we can't go a day without talking about Harry, Megan and obviously Megan's dad, who's got plenty to say, about the uh, absent princess from the coronation, but about how she, he says he won't be buried by her while he's still alive. This is part of his latest interview he's given. Megan knows you've had a stroke. Of course he has to know. I'm taking it from that that she hasn't called you? No. No phone call? No. How long has it been now? It's been four years. So just radio silence. Exactly. So, Russell, uh, if... I mean, look, none of us want to get in the middle of the family dynamic here between, uh, you know, father and daughter, but it's pretty rough when you're not willing to ring your dad even after having a stroke. Well, I don't think there's any room in the middle of it because there's an awful lot of the Markles speaking out. I mean, we've had Thomas himself, um, who didn't look well in that interview. I mean, I think our hearts do go out to him. He certainly didn't um, look as though he, he's a well man. I mean, we has, Megan hasn't been speaking to him in recent months. You've, of course, got Samantha and Thomas Jr. speaking out as well. And I think had Megan come here, it would not only been a huge, huge distraction for the main event because... How would have the family have dealt with her? How would have the media have dealt with her attendance as well? But, listen, I think that ship has sailed. I don't think she'll be making amends with her family any time soon. And uh, I think, you know, Thomas is going to keep speaking out because that's he, he views as his only avenue to try and have a relationship with both her and, uh, and his grandchildren. What do you think is going to be the reception for Harry uh, when he turns up? Presumably has to walk through the front steps like everyone else. At one point, expectations were they'd be booing. What do you think will actually happen now that it's, uh, that it's a quick in and out? Well, it certainly will be quick. I mean, a matter of hours. Uh, certainly his, uh, his son, Archie's fourth birthday, is on the same day. So he might be even flitting out just a couple of hours after the main ceremony. Listen, I, I think there were concerns for Meghan to, to come here, not only because of the relationship with the family, but certainly the relationship with the British public. And we saw at the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee there, there were a smattering of boos, it, I mean, in between cheers, but that reception uh, could even be worse, considering we've had the Netflix series, we've had Harry's book, that certainly hasn't been favourable to the rest of the family. And I think that's certainly, when you look at polling and uh, the appetite that the Americans have got for the Sussexes, it's even got worse since, uh, since those two big events in recent months. Russell Myers from the uh, Daily Mirror, thank you so much, mate. Enjoy another wonderful day in London in the next few days before that incredible day on Saturday.